Hey there guys, Teacher Booth here for gshelper.com and um, this just video is to show a little simpler way to uh, create a larger hitbox for a smaller item um, and I'll show you that it's really easy. I'm gonna hit preview right now and as you can see it's moving down and when I if I click around it, it you know you can't do anything so I'm gonna refresh and now when I click on it it goes back to the top and we'll come back down again but I want to make it so you don't have to be so accurate to click on it so you want to click a, a bigger area around um, instead of constraining an actor to it um, there's a very simple way to do this hit the plus sign to create a new attribute and we're going to uh, we'll just make an index attribute and let's say I want um, my area around it uh, to be 60 pixels um, so I'll name it 60 and I'll, I'll, I'll make sure it, 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 the field is 60 here okay so rather than touch is pressed we'll change this to um, mouse button is down um, and then we're gonna hit a new rule here and we're gonna say if attribute self 60 and that's that new attribute we made over here is greater than and we'll go here magnitude and I'll go to the first bracket and we're gonna do self position X minus device mouse position X comma self position Y minus device mouse position Y close bracket and that's it I'm gonna go ahead and press preview and now you'll see if I click over here nothing happens but if I click just outside in the 60 pixel radius from the center it still works so I don't need to constrain an actor over top um, it, no, no, no constraints at all as long as I'm within 60 pixels and if 60 is too much just simply go here and let's do uh, 40 pixels hit preview now you'll see I'll have to be closer to do it right there and that's it. Um, I hope you learned something from this video, and I'll see you guys again.